Hi, we're the Ryans. Join us on this episode as Ritter Group continues to reveal new treasure to us. And we do the repairs to the slate roof on the manor house. We're also going to be spending time in the kitchen where we're expanding space. We're going to take down a wall. Then we're going to take some time off to travel and sightsee. It's going to be market day in Zwickau. Please come with us. Say, do you like my Amish hat? I love your Amish hat. Have you got more of those? I have several other hats. We'll have to keep watching for more. Welcome to Tripping Over 60. We're Jim and Linda Ryan, a couple of baby boomers who've caught the travel bug. Come with us on our adventure. As we move to Vilka Haslau, Germany to begin a new life and a new dream. Welcome back to Rittergut. My, how things are progressing. Not only has our furniture arrived, but we have found so many treasures in and around Rittergut. It didn't take long for our belongings to arrive, and soon we were met by eager German movers. We waited with breathless anticipation as they opened the container, and Jim soon pronounced it a thumbs up. Then he decided to relax a little bit. Well, maybe not for long. Of course he had to get his hands dirty. People often ask us what we took to Germany, and we tell them everything. Dressers, nightstands, patio furniture, doors, garage items, kitchen cabinets, and hardwood flooring. We took everything. And at the end of the moving day, we toasted to ourselves and to the many new treasures that we are finding in Rittergut. Life really would be different here without our network of great friends. Every single one of them has contributed somehow in some way to our success. This is Charlotta. Not only is she a wonderful friend, she's also a civil engineer by trade, and she is a lifetime resident of the village. So she's 100% supportive of Rittergut's restoration. It was raining the day the roofers started repairs. Charlotta was out there in the rain coordinating what needed to be done. She continued checking on their progress all day long. She was even handing slate shingles out to the roofers through the attic windows. Rittergut has a beautiful slate shingle roof in remarkably good condition. Maintenance such as rain gutter cleaning had not been done in over a decade. That was the first task. That's Jim and the roofer inspecting the top of the dome. The dome only needed minor repairs and even though the spire is leaning a little bit, it is solid and in remarkably good condition. Yes, Jim really is about 70 feet in the air. Yikes! and he has donated labor in exchange for English lessons so as we work together we will be conversing in English and German. And where does Tom live? He is a neighbor of ours, lives right behind that row of trees. Tom is 17 years old and needless to say adds a bit of spunk around the house. Tom's brother Kevin also helps and the two of them are great fun to work with. This room will be our kitchen. It reminds me uh, of a scene from the movie Under the Tuscan Sun where the realtor tells Francis, let the house talk to you, take your time. And that's what we're doing here. This house is still telling us stories of how it used to be and what it looked like. This is gonna be a lot of fun when it's done. Well, here we are, it's late afternoon. Uh, we've been working most of the day here in the kitchen trying to do more with this border that we have uncovered. 
This is our hard-working friend Tom, who's going to tell you a little about how today has been going. Ja, ich habe heute sehr viel geklebt mit Blau, mit Blue. Diese schönen Verzierungen und ja, das haben wir heute gemacht, den ganzen Tag, all the day. Yeah, Linda. Sure. Okay, well, that's it for right now from here in the kitchen. We'll talk with you again later. And so Rittergut sits, waiting to reveal her secrets and treasures. Luckily, this comes off very easy. It's a coarse plaster. It's probably made of clay, sand, and uh, some lime mixed in. Uh, you just tap on it gently, and it pops right off the brick. We'll go as far as we can. And uh, when the ladders and scaffolding come in in about a week, we'll do the rest of it, salvage the brick. We're a big recycler, so we're going to uh, use that for reinforcing foundations and other things throughout the house. We're not going to throw away anything if we can possibly save it. So back to work. It's rather dusty in here. When this wall is completely down, it'll be replaced with a metal stud wall and sheetrock. And we will have eliminated about 2,000 pounds of pressure and replaced it with a wall that would be about two or 300 pounds because the area where Tom is standing will become a new kitchen area for the pension. All of this work is being done so we can take the wall down in the kitchen. So in English, I'm cleaning the mortar away. What would I be saying in German? Oh, yeah, we're going to leave that one alone. <laughs> uh, a gift that our daughter and son-in-law, Amanda and Kanishka, gave me for Christmas, they thought it might come in handy. It has been a whole lot more than handy. It has been a lifesaver. Uh, it's an Ingersoll Rand uh, pneumatic uh, air gun. Little noisy, but boy, does it knock down brick. Uh, you've got an assortment of different bits that go in here for different things. You've got one that'll cut wire and lightweight steel. It runs off of this small compressor which we bought here because our American stuff does not work on uh, European current. The wall I took down upstairs took me almost all day and with this little toy uh, it took about an hour and a half to take down the wall. Uh, in the kitchen and return the room to its original size. Here's to toys. Uh, this is the original size of the room. It'll become our kitchen. And uh, now we have to clean up the brick and haul it out and use it for another project on the site. Uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. As you can see, we've made a lot of progress in the past month. Join us next time as we continue with more renovation work and take a little time off to see some of the countryside. But until then, I'm Jim, I'm Linda, and we're tripping over 60. Historically, Zwickau was first mentioned in about 1118. Long a center of commerce and rail, it remains today a lively city of approximately 100,000 people. It is only a few kilometers from Vilka Haslau and takes about 10 minutes by either rail or auto for us to travel there. Zwickau is a little bit like an onion. Once you peel away the industrial and technical part on the outside, like the Volkswagen plant, and you get to the old historic center, it really is a beautiful city. The town of Zwickau has transformed itself over the years from a traditional mining town into an elegant Art Nouveau town, which is well worth discovering. St. Mary's Bell Tower is 285 feet tall and the bell weighs 51 tons. 
Weekly markets are held in the city center and attract folks from nearby communities. Easter's an especially colorful time. Colored eggs and spring flowers are on display everywhere. When you grow tired, you can stop at one of the sidewalk cafes for a cappuccino or a beer. It's a great way to spend the day. Zvitao is a great historic old city that's waiting to be discovered. There's still many churches, museums, theaters, and a couple of castles scattered around here and there, and we hope to bring you more of these interesting sites and architecture in coming episodes.